do you know that forgiveness holds more benefit for the forgiver than the one who's been forgiven? Are you aware that when you forgive someone, you gain more than the person you forgive? I've come to realize that the reason it is hard a lot of times for us to forgive people is because we feel that when we forgive, we are actually doing more good to the person than we are doing for ourselves. So it doesn't make sense that this person has hurt me after all the wrong things that the person did to me. I still have to accord the person good or some favor by forgiving the person. So it makes sense to, to want to do something to the person, you know, to hold forgiveness from the person. In that way, I, I, it looks, I feel like I'm hurting the person, like I'm getting back at the person by, by not forgiving the person. But when you hold on forgiveness, you're actually hurting yourself more than you hurt the other person. So apart from the fact that it is a command in scripture that we forgive those who trespass against us so that we can access forgiveness from our Heavenly Father. Apart from the fact that it's a command, there are huge benefits that forgiveness holds for you who is forgiveness, who is actually meting out the forgiveness to people. So when you hold forgiveness, when you hold unforgiveness in your heart, what it does is once those things, that experience, when that experience settles in your heart, the experience becomes like a software that begins to dictate the way your life runs. The Bible says that guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it is the issues of life. So imagine when you eat, when you eat food, the food goes into your stomach, when you swallow it, it stays there for a while. When it stays there for a while, it digests into your bloodstream. And once the food has digested into your bloodstream, it becomes impossible to separate it from yourself. It shows if it's good stuff, it shows in your health. If it is bad stuff, it shows in your health. At that point, you can't separate it anymore from yourself. That's how anything that goes into the heart is. Once the thing goes into the heart, it settles there and then after a while it takes a matter of time before it begins to show forth in your life because out of the heart flows the issues of life so someone has hurt you someone has done something terrible to you someone has treated you badly maybe your boss or your brother your sister a friend has hurt you in a terrible way done some things that you did not expect them to do maybe even someone you were you were in a relationship with has hurt you your husband has hurt you your wife has hurt you and you are finding it difficult to forgive the person let me explain to you a little bit of what you are doing to yourself by not forgiving when you don't forgive after a while that experience that hurt that was done to you settles into your heart and then after a while that thing begins to manifest in your life so you are now hurting yourself a second time there is something that psychologists call victimized predators victimized predators are people who were victimized before who suffered some pain in the hands of some other persons and then after a while when they now grow into the position that the person that inflicted pain on them was they now be, be, they begin to do the same thing to other people unconsciously subconsciously and the reason that happens is that that experience that the person that, that was done to you was held in the heart so i'll give you some examples i'm sure a lot of us have heard or maybe seen where a young man a young boy grows up in a family where his father beats his mother he hates his father for beating his mother. He wishes he could fight him and beat him up for beating his mother. He wishes he could save the woman from the pain, but he can't, so he hates the man for it. And then he grows up adoring women because of what the mother went through. He doesn't want to see any hurt come to any woman. 
He steps in whenever anything is going wrong with a woman. He helps at every chance he gets. Then he grows up, gets married. He loves his wife with all his heart, adores her. And then after a while, he beats his wife. I've seen those kind of issues. I've, I've seen that happen in some people. The reason that happens is that you might have gotten away from an, that experience. That young man had gotten away from that experience physically, but that experience had been trapped in the heart. And as long as that experience is trapped in the heart, it is only a matter of time when life presents that same scenario to you, that experience, that thing that was done to you, you will now do it to someone else. So your boss hurt you. Your boss treated you badly and you hold it against your boss. And then you grow and enter into a position where you now have subordinates. And then you start doing the same thing that was done to you, to your subordinates. So you see what you have done to yourself. The experience that you hated, the thing that you did not like, that hurt, that wickedness that made you feel bad, that thing that somebody did and you, 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 you felt like someone shouldn't do this to anybody. You now turn yourself into that. You now become the person doing that to other people. So the only way to save yourself from not becoming that hurt that you faced is by letting it go by releasing it from your heart. The best way to save yourself from replicating the hurt that was done to you is by removing it from your heart, letting it go. Because it is the greatest injustice you can do for your, to yourself. The greatest injustice you can do to yourself is to now become the thing you hated. The thing that someone did to you that you hated, you now become it because of unforgiveness. Is there somebody that has hurt you? Is there somebody that has caused you pain? You are not doing the person a favor by forgiving him or her. Yes, the person gains by forgiving, you know, let the person go and all that. There's some, you know, there's some, some gain in that. But you are doing yourself more gain. You release the pain from your heart. You see the world in a, in a better way. When you hold those things in your heart, it obscures the way you see people. It obscures the way you see things. You, everything about you begins to go through the glasses, the lenses of that thing that was done to you. So make up your mind today to forgive that person that hurt you. Make up your mind today to let the person go. Igbo people have an adage that says that he that holds someone on the floor is also holding himself down. Because you cannot successfully hold somebody in one place and be moving away from that place. As long as you are holding that person down, you are also there with the person. So if you want to move away from that hurt, you want to move away from that pain, you want to move away from that bad experience, you want to move away from the memory of that stuff, release it from your heart. Let that person go. Forgive the person. Lay it off your chest. And you would step into a, a happy phase of your life. Make up your mind today to forgive. Make up your mind today to let go. Nobody is worth putting you in that position. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to have a good life. To make up your mind today, to set yourself free. Take that thing off your heart, release it, and let it go. And you have a better life. God bless you. See you next time.